I'm constantly amused how everything evolves. Here's an example for you. When I relocated to New York back in 1995 from Africa, everything I knew about Hoboken I learned from a 1985 off-Broadway musical called Nonsense. Oh, and then I learned that Old Blue Eyes, the great Frank Sinatra, was born there. That caught my attention. Back then I lived in Manhattan and a friend who lived in Hoboken complained endlessly it was such a long way to get home, another state, another tunnel, a world away and so on and on and on he went. Well, fast forward to 2021 and Hoboken has evolved into a bustling, buzzing, thriving town on the Hudson with spectacular waterfront views of the Manhattan skyline that you don't get in Manhattan. Add restaurants, hotels, luxury living in a busy high street, and you have a great town that's all the hype. Now, talking about hype, there's a new hype to talk about. It's Hoboken's first selfie room. Yeah, you heard that right. Hoboken's first selfie room. A space that's created to give you the freedom to capture your own happiness. Isn't that amazing? But wait, it gets better. It's a woman-led business empowering women entrepreneurs and that is what drew us to the concept of Hoboken's Hype Room. Let's head on over to the Hype Room and see what happens. This all started because of my oldest son actually. This past year, the changing dynamics with that, he actually had his kindergarten class do you know everything on Zoom. So with that, one of his teacher eventually got pretty tired of having the same background, seeing the same thing every day. So one of her projects was changing your background. And we had a blast creating different backgrounds, fun and exciting things to keep his class entertained. So I thought, why not create a large scale of that? And um, thus Hype Room was born. The innovation actually came from looking at these jobs and thinking to myself this isn't doing justice to the creativity that I want um, and the freedom I want to express myself and why not create a photography studio where I can showcase what I'm so passionate about which is arts. Most people know what to do with a camera on their own so why not create a space where they can take pictures of themselves take pictures and create your own happiness. This is what we like to do here. The advice that I can give other women is say yes to yourself. Because when you say yes to yourself, you are essentially creating this energy where you are saying yes to your beliefs, your value, and you're validating yourself. So when you validate yourself, people around you feed on that energy that you're creating, and then they believe in you, and they say yes to you. And once other people start, it's a domino effect. And I think it's just, it starts with that mindset. You can't just... As women, we tend to, you know, take a step back and let, you know, we're more empathetic. We allow everybody to be heard and speak, even if that means we silence ourselves. But I'm saying, take up space. Bring space to the table because there's a lot to offer and there's a lot of resources. There's, once you say yes to yourself, things just start happening. And, I think you don't realize the opportunity that's there because you have that doubt in the back of your mind. There's a world of opportunity available for you. Well, there you have it. Hoboken's Hype Room. Oh, that was such fun. And you really need to come and enjoy this experience for yourself. It's so easy to get here via the path rail system from 33rd Street at Herald Square. You know, for that matter, Come spend some time here, enjoy the hype room, have lunch, walk along the waterfront and admire the views of Manhattan. 
And for foreign visitors to our soil, trust me when I tell you, you have to come to the New Jersey side because you will never see Manhattan from this angle unless you leave it. I'm Ken Vasquez, had a lot of fun, I'm so hyped up, thank you for being here. See you next time.